Hi everyone, welcome to the QAOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be explaining the framework of the CLI that we are using and creating our first command on that CLI. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notification of my next videos. Also subscribe to my Telegram channel where I post uh, ex exclusive content and I have a direct line of communication with you. So the first thing that we're going to do is our BB-8, this is our basic BB-8, right? So uh, the, the framework that we are using. So you're going to see that you have the helper command, you have some libs command, uh, we have the version of BB-8. We also have um, the debug. So, and we have uh, the template command right? uh, that I'm going to show. You have the date command, the debug that helps going to help us debug some some issues. We have the date, the docs, the template, the URL, and the uh, virtual control commands. Right, the date. And the version control I'm going to leave for the next video because this is a more complex command that uses uh, different functionality of the CLI. I'm going to go with the template for now, right? So when we take a look at the uh, template command, you're going to see that you have action, right? And I do if I do bb bb template action. It doesn't do anything, right? Because uh, this is the menu and this is the actual command. This is a case switch. But you're going to see that this is getting the first the variable passed to this file, right? So when we do bb template, template is this file template. And the action is this action in this file. So this represents the variable coming in into that file. But here the action is hello. So I'm going to change this to action. So now it's going to print hello world. And this is what I want. And we're going to use the template as a, a basis for any command that we want to create because it's going to make it easier. But you're going to notice that this is not uh, this doesn't have any code highlighting and this is what we're going to do. So we're going to use what is called a bang. It's spelled Shay bang, but it is pronounced bang line, uh, which is a hashtag uh, exclamation mark and then the path for my bash that I want this file to be interpreted with. So it's US, USR slash bin. And in this folder, if I do uh, USR being in my Linux, in my Mac, there, there's going to be a bunch of binary files here. Right? So you're going to see that's very common to see this pattern. This is telling uh, that we want bash to be used as the interpreter. Because you have so many shell scripts, you have bash script, you have corn script, you have uh, zsh, uh, which is the one that I use. Um, but uh, when I do this, I'm telling it that I want to use the bash interpreter. And each shell is going to have some different, little differences in how, how to write and even some functionality. Right? The bash is the most common one. But this is not the, the pattern that it's um, suggested for you to use. Uh, the actual one is to use slash env bash. And why is that? Because env is going to use the environmental variables in my path. So if I do echo path, you're going to see various stuff on my path. So this is going to use, and you can see that's already highlighted. This is going to use the bash version that is on my path. So regardless if it's uh, a version installed on a bin or a version that I installed someplace else, it's going to use whatever I set up as my environment variable, uh, as my path. Right? 
So this is what I want to do. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste and put this in every single file. Right? Uh, and this is, it, it, it sets up the Vim editor to use uh, for the shell as well. So for whoever uses Vim, this is also uh, um, good to have. So I'm going to go back whenever we have everything set up here. Great. So now every file has, you can see that everything it's, uh, uh, has syntax highlighting, which, which it's much easier to follow. Um, cool. So what I'm going to do is if you take a look at the BB, which is the executable, you're going to see that we have some call availability of some colors. You can, you can put red for failures. You can put green for successes, yellow for warnings and attention, magenta for the bug messages, and cyan for main action and progress. So if you take a look at the debug message, we can do the action command. But then if I put dash dash debug, you're going to see some extra uh, uh, logging. Uh, so this is you, you're going to have the login for when everyone to interact with the user and you have the login for debugging. So this is specific for debugging and I'm also going to show you how you can we can we can we, we can log specific stuff that's going to be showing the debug mode, which is going to help us identify problems uh, easier. Right. So great. So this is our template command, and now we're going to we are going to create our first command, right? Uh, so as I mentioned, these are the files, right? So I have a template, so I'm going to copy and paste this template, and I'm going to call the new file BB8 because my CLI here it's called BB, but and I'm going to be, and you already see that it's going to, it has a BB8 uh, path, a BB8 command. And I'm going to use the BB8 to interact with the CLI itself because I'm going to have to update the CLI. I'm going uh, to have to edit uh, or, or to give the status of the CLI. So this is what this command is about. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to say subcommand description. And this is uh, interacts interacts with the BB8 CLI. And the first command I'm going to say hello. And this is going to be greetings from BB8. When I do BB, you're, you already see interacts with the BB8 CLI, and the BB8 says the hello and greetings from BB8. So you can see how easy is to create a new a menu there. I just had to add the file. Now we're going to interact with the user uh, somehow, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do insian. And I'm going to say hello. And I'm going to Uh, execute a command on Unix called users. If I do users here, it's going to print my user. In your case, it's going to print your user. So I, I'm going to say hello user, and I'm here to make your life easier. And I'm going to do uh, slash and for break line, right? You, you need to break the line if you want to have extra spacing. Cool. So now when I do BB8 hello, and I need to pass the action. In the action, I want it to be hello because this is what is on my menu. <coughs> hello, Rafael Lima. I'm here to make your life easier. But still missing a touch. I want to display BB8 talking, right? the actual BB8. So I have an image here, and it's a text file uh, with, with the image of BB-8. Uh, I didn't do this. I found it online, right? So when we did the debug mode, we saw that 
we have many variables here. We have a variable for the config uh, folder. We have the variable for the director folder. So we have we have various uh, uh, variables. One of those variables is for the root folder of the CLI. So what I can do is cat to print the content of the file uh, on my terminal, and I can do this root dir slash images slash bb8.txt and when I execute the hello without the debug I have my my file and my message my my bb8 image right but one thing that I don't like here is that the fact that I have these uh, paths hard coded here so one of the nice things that the CLI does for us is the environment uh, uh, environment uh, file. And you're going to see that this file is loaded before calling other subcommands. Variables and functions will be available to all subcommands. So anything that I put here is going to be available for any other command. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to export a variable. So it's going to be available for any file. So I'm going to say export, and I'm going to say BB8 image. So when you're exporting, it should be all caps uh, separated by uh, underline. And the path, which is this path here, right? So now I have this variable here. Now, instead of printing the actual file, I can print the content of the variable. And if I execute my command, it's the same thing, right? Cool. So we already have the first command that we can we can execute, and you can see how easy it is to create that command. How how simple? Of course. We're going to have more functionality. It's going to get more, a little bit more complex, depending on what you want to do. But you can see how easy it was to create a menu, how easy it was to do some of this stuff. Um, one thing that it's, uh, it's, I suggest is using IntelliJ. For instance, why I put I I I, I put these uh, the variable between uh, double quotes. If I don't put between double quotes, it's still going to work, but this is called globbing. So we use double quotes to prevent globbing, and IntelliJ helps us to identify some of those. I'm still going to explain to you what is globbing. So now I'm focused more on you understanding uh, the framework itself and not necessarily shell, right? So. So that's what I wanted to show you. Uh, if you like it, give the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notification of my next videos. Also subscribe to my Telegram channel so you can have a direct line of access to me. And thank you for watching.